Some have heard it rustling in the bush or caught a glimpse of it behind a tree. Others have stumbled on footprints or clumps of hair. Evidence of a mythical creature have been found all over the Six Rivers National Forest, but if you really want to see that evidence up close, you'll find it at the intersection of Highway 96 and 299 in Trinity County. Welcome to Willow Creek, the gateway to Bigfoot country. If you talk to just about anyone in Willow Creek, there's a pretty good chance they can tell you a Bigfoot story. He saw a Sasquatch come up and he was totally freaked out. I've heard stories and from, you know, reliable people. I've never seen him personally, but they've never proved he doesn't exist. The reason that sightings or evidence of the elusive creature are so prominent in this area is because of the Patterson film. The Patterson film gave a, a full-bodied moving image to the myth and legend. For copyright reasons, we can only show you images from the Patterson film, but chances are you've seen it on TV or the internet before. Roger Patterson and Robert Gimlin recorded the iconic Bigfoot film back in 1967, just outside Willow Creek. It was along Bluff Creek in the Six Rivers National Forest. Just long enough to burn that image into your, your mind so it never really went away for a lot of people. Steve Stroyford is the owner of Bigfoot Books, and he's one of the many Bigfoot researchers in town who actively search for signs of Sasquatch. I might have seen one, I don't know. Uh, there were things that happened in the woods that were hard to explain. Steve said says the Patterson film is one reason he moved to Willow Creek in the 1970s. The other reason is the continued sightings and abundance of evidence collected in the area. This was the original cast from Bob Titmus at the Patterson film site. An entire room full of evidence can be found at the Willow Creek China Flat Museum Bigfoot collection. So this is the holy grail of, of like Bigfoot research. Yes. Heidi Johnson is one of the docents at the museum. She says the Bigfoot collection is one of the main attractions in town and researchers from all over the world have donated artifacts, pictures, castings, and even Bigfoot memorabilia. Everybody enjoys the museum. They enjoy Bigfoot. I just hope that nobody ever catches him. Catching Bigfoot is actually a real possibility around here, at least for Bigfoot hunter Larry Wadsworth. I got a Humboldt County Sasquatch hunting permit. You got a permit? You know, so I can hunt the sucker. He's got a permit. Larry set up camp just north of Willow Creek. He's not here to kill Bigfoot. In fact, he needs the hairy beast alive to collect a $5 million reward. There's a uh, lawyer in Oklahoma that's putting up $3 million, and then there's two separate private families that are putting up a million each. Bigfoot attracts thousands of people just like Larry to Willow Creek every year. In September, they hold the annual Bigfoot Days Parade, which benefits the whole town. All the businesses kind of adopted this Bigfoot as their mascot. Bigfoot is everywhere in Willow Creek, on the walls of the hardware store, at the local motel, and even several restaurants. Sasquatch may bring people to Willow Creek, but the real attraction around here is the natural beauty of the Six Rivers National Forest. So it's kind of an excuse for a lot of people just to get out and, you know, maybe wear some camo and feel like adventurous. From the Bigfoot-loving community of Willow Creek, I'm John Bartell. I hope to see you on the back row.